allow um, uh, men in war to take um, already married women as their wives. Um, and I said, well, surely there must be some kind of context for that. So as you can see, the reference is Ibn Kathir's commentary on 424. We as Muslims have to contend with the fact that our tradition largely makes out the Prophet to be a sex-crazed warlord. No amount of religious gaslighting will change that fact. It will only delay the inevitable. As Muslims, we either contend with the tradition and sift out the good from the bad, or we insist that the tradition is sacrosanct and attempt to stifle any type of criticism. In short, we either save our prophet from these medieval depictions of him, or we insist that we can have our cake and eat it too. And a final note on the questioner, it does not concern me whether she was sincere or insincere. The point is, we have to clean up our own house. And for those who think our house does not need to be cleaned, you might have convinced yourselves, but you haven't convinced the rest of us.